What did you just say? Hurry, save my mom. Don't let my mother die. Please. Give your mother's secret away. Don't stop, Uncle Ethan. Ethan and Gwen can't realize Gertrude is Denny's in disguise. Oops. So, little Ethan, why in the world would you call Gertrude mommy? Because I... It's obvious I think he just got caught up in the heat of the moment. Right, sweetheart? You made a mistake. He's old enough to speak for himself, right? All right, she's, she's, right, she's got a pulse. Gertrude's alive. She's going to be fine. Good news you're here, Ethan. Oh, goody. Wake up. You have to wake up. It's all right. Just give her some time, okay? Um, back to my question. Yeah, uh, it's a good question. Why, why did you call Gertrude Mom? It's great that you're not really dead, Mom. Why did she come back disguised as a nanny? I'm going to explain everything to you later, okay? But right now, no one can know that I'm here. Not even Dad? No, honey, I'm sorry. Not even Ethan, okay? You can't know that he's my father yet either? No. Look, I know it's really hard to keep secrets. Believe me, I know. But this is the only way that I can stay close to you and your sister. So please... Help me keep these secrets. Mom, you have to wake up. We can't lose you. Ethan. Ethan and Gwen can't hear you. Ethan, what is it? Why are you looking at Gertrude like that? I don't know. Well, Teresa was, she was the love of my life. And I had planned to marry Gwen after law school. And that kind of all changed when I, when I met Teresa. There was something about her that was just so passionate. She was, she had this steadfast belief in love that just completely bowled me over. And she was usually very destructive. I mean, she was this force of nature that just completely took control of me but at the same time she was she was beautiful on so many levels wow she sounds like an amazing person that she was mm. I don't think I'll ever get over her I don't think I'll ever I'll ever stop loving her but she's always gonna have a special place in my heart and I can't believe I'm telling you these things <laughs> <laughs> just, sorry I I don't know why I opened up to you like that. I, oh. I'm very sorry. No, no, sometimes it's easier to open up to strangers. Yeah. yeah. I guess I, I feel comfortable around you, Gertrude. I, <laughs> I feel like I've known you for a long time. Ethan? What? What's going on? You look like you've seen a ghost. How's she doing? No change. Grandma. You know, maybe maybe we should get her into bed. No, you know what, Ethan? Um, it's not a good idea to move an accident victim. He's gonna see me. Pilar, let me take a look at her. In just a moment, Ethan. Well, you should let Ethan uh, check on her. He's had a lot of first aid experience. Me too. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, my God. Is everything okay with you? What is she doing? God only knows. Pluck, can I help you? No, Ethan. I'm fine. Well, she looks a lot better, don't you think? Yeah. Hope you're right. Oh, welcome back, Gertrude. How are you feeling, Gertrude? Yeah, you uh, gave us all a scare there. 
But we're very proud of you. And we're all very worried about you as well. You're okay, aren't you? You're really okay. Well, yes. I think so, yes. Thank you, Gertrude. I owe you a big thank you as well for saving Mel Ethan's life. You are a hero around here now. Oh. Well, any woman would have done the same thing. I don't know about that. I have had it with this woman. She has got to go. Why does Gertrude keep making me think of Teresa? really is necessary. I'm sure I can walk. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You almost lost your life downstairs. You've been wonderful. He gave you CPR. He saved your life. Well, then you're my hero. <laughs> uh, gag me with a spoon. Ethan, you know... Uh, I think Gertrude needs to rest and she needs some quiet. I, I can take care of her. You can go now. Yeah, that's a good idea. You think we should go? Well, not, not yet. You know, I'm a bit tired. I would like to rest. Yeah, I think you need to see a doctor, though. Oh, I'm okay, really. Thank you for saving me. No, are you kidding me? And thank you. And you. You risked your life to save little Ethan, so we can't thank you enough. Isn't that right, Glenn? Of course. Thank you, Gertrude and Ethan. Let's, let's go. All right. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, baby. Find me sore for a few days, but you know, the important thing is that you, you are okay. Yeah. The only thing that really hurts is my heart. Until I'm with Ethan, it won't ever recover. Little Ethan's in bed. I'm so proud of you, Teresa. For what, Mama? But you did, Mijo. You threw yourself under that bookcase to save little Ethan. Any mother would have done the same thing. Just instinct. That's exactly how I feel about Juanita. I will do anything to protect my children and my grandchildren against that woman. I want you to stop worrying about her, Mama. The authorities are going to find her. We don't need to worry about her finding us. I don't know. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Do you know that my heart, it's still racing from when your wig almost fell off. I mean, Ethan and Gwen almost saw that it was you. That's near misses, huh? But they still don't know I'm alive. I have to think that someone's watching over me. Well, I don't know about that. The Lord doesn't approve of deception. For good cause? Just, I feel like I've been protected, you know, ever since that night in Mexico in the water. Everyone thought I was dead, but here I am, safe and sound. Yeah. But we still have to be very, very careful. Mama, just stop worrying, please. It's like you see Monita around every corner. We're fine. Let's just rest, okay? I'm really tired. Okay. I love you. I love you. What about your prayers? Yes. Okay. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord of my soul. What is that feeling? Why do I feel like someone just walked over my grave? I know you don't think Juanita's a real threat, Mia. She's close. Maybe even closer than you think. Gertrude.
What is it about you? I just can't get past this. I'm so grateful to you for saving the Lethan. But it's more than that. Why am I so drawn to you? What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? 